Hi, everybody. This past annual meeting weekend, I shared with our church family about the mission that God has given to us, that of honoring God by living like Jesus. Uh, the biblical passages are many that, that tell us that our purpose for existence as a church, the reason why we've been established is to, is to please God. And we do that best when we live like his son, when we imitate the Lord's uh, attitudes and his values and his, his, his uh, actions. When, when we're copying what Jesus did and, what, and who Jesus was, it's very, very pleasing to the Father. Honoring God by living like Jesus. Uh, it was an exciting time as once again God gave his confirmation to us that this is what God really called us to do here at Emmanuel Faith Church. The, one of the critical questions that I get asked all the time is how we're going to fulfill that mission. Well, the answer is our 2020 vision that God has given to us. It's our 10-year plan for how we're going to accomplish the building of Christ-likeness into his followers. Uh, over the last several months, last year, we, we prayed, we studied, uh, we, we dialogued, and, and we gathered input for some 800 of our church members who told us of what they thought the scriptures were saying, uh, uh, their dreams, the kind of church that they wanted to, to be involved in over the next 10 years. From all that we did in our study of the scriptures and from our interactions with God's people, four primary goal areas came out. Uh, these, this became the basis for our 2020 vision. There are four areas that we're going to continually work at over the next 10 years. They are that we be passionate and trained. Uh, it's our hope that everyone who calls Emmanuel Faith Church home will be trained in the scriptures, especially as they relate to the, to the topics of grace and truth. Our commitment to God's word must strong so that all of our hearts, every single one of us, are passionate in our love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Passionate and trained. A second key area that we're going to work at over the next 10 years, that we care and connect to each other. We recognize that in our culture today, there, there's much independence and even isolation from other people. Relationships seem to be breaking down. A sense of connection is harder and harder to get. Well, we know, according to God's word, that's one of the keystones of, of what he wants for the church. It's one of the key things that, that builds towards Christ-likeness. Uh, it's our hope and, and our prayer that the people of Emmanuel Faith Church sense a, a family connection to others and genuine love and care for each other. Uh, a third area where we're going to continually work on over the, next, over the next 10 years is taking risk to bring hope. Uh, we know that God wants us to reach people with the gospel, those who are lost, those who are broken, those who are hurting, those who don't yet know the joy of knowing Jesus and the forgiveness of sins. And we sense God's calling over the next 10 years to go into our community with practical helps to people, always presenting the gospel whenever given that opportunity, uh, to, to reach out in new ways, taking some risks that we haven't taken before. I think there's going to be an exciting 10 years as God does something brand new in us and then through us so that we can be passionately trained, so that we can be caring and connecting, so that we can take some risk to bring hope. And then a fourth area that we're going to continually work on, a goal area, is in our resourcing and our organizing. Uh, we recognize that in order for us to grow and develop, there are some things that we need to do here in, 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 a, in a very practical way, especially related to our buildings in the campus here at the corner of Felicita and Encino. This was built, much of it, in 1972. So we have a lot of work to do, a lot of different ways to, to, uh, to uh, uh, update this campus with technology to make it more useful to us. So we've got all of these four areas that we're going to work on. They're the basis of our 2020 vision. And uh, at the annual meeting then, on the Sunday evening of that weekend, I shared with people some of the key objectives in those four areas. There were many that I could choose from 
because we have lots of different objectives. But these are some of the objectives that I want to share with you that are closest to my heart and that I spend a lot of my time thinking about how we can, can grow to be more and more like Jesus in all that we do. So let's start, start with just this first area, that of being passionate and trained. When I look out to the year 2020, I see a number of things. Uh, 10 years from now, I see a great year of celebration. What I hope at that point in time, 10 years from now, is that 50% of the people who call Emmanuel Faith Church home will be in mentoring relationships. We have to have this intergenerational training where more mature believers are mentoring those who are less mature. Can you see where half of the people who are here at our church are connected to each other, committed to God's word, learning his truth, growing in grace? I think it'd be thrilling. It's one of our, one of our key objectives in the year 2020. I'd also like to see 100% of the people who call Emmanuel Faith Church home in some form of life-sharing group. It might be that mentoring relationship. It could be as family units or with singles or couples, uh, men's and women's groups, uh, lots of different ways and forms that th this uh, uh, connecting could take place. But it's my hope that in the year 2020, 100% of our people will be joined together in these connections. I'd also like to see 100% of our people trained in outreach and how to present the gospel to others in our community. Reaching out to, to, to our community is a key component of what God commands and directs of us. Uh, this whole idea of, uh, uh, of being the people that God wants us to be, of living like Jesus, foundational to our impact in the presentation of the gospel to others. Uh, it's going to be an exciting 10 years. 10 years from now, what I envision is three brand new churches planted with Mission Hills now going into a self-governing status, uh, I can see us within three years planting another church, maybe very, very different than the one that we planted in San Marcos. But this is one of the best ways to impact a community. So I look out to the year 2020 and I see a year of celebration where God has done great things. We'll take our steps of faith to do the things that God would have us to do. Now, the critical question, how do we get there? Uh, this next year, in the year 2011, is going to be a year of evaluation for us, where all of the ministries that we're engaged in right now are being evaluated on how they're helping us develop Christ-likeness in people. In other words, are we growing to live like Jesus? Uh, we're looking at life design. We're looking at all of our departmental ministries, all of our age-specific ministries of youth and children. We're evaluating our small groups. We're evaluating uh, our uh, outreach training. Is it really being effective in helping us share the good news and be the good news with people around us? And then we're going to look at our, ch our church planting strategy. Can we do more church planting? Uh, how have we done it? Has it been effective? So we're really looking at, at, at uh, everything that we've been doing under this uh, uh, microscope of, is it helping us live like Jesus lived? Uh, that will include looking at the campus and updating it for technology and usage and all the things that I've mentioned. So 2011 is going to be a year of evaluation. 2012 then will be a year of development where the evaluations and the resulting changes in our ministry will actually be put into play. In that year, I'd like to see 5% of our people in the mentoring relationships. I'd like to see 5% increase each year for the next 10 years. So in 2012, 5% of our people sharing their lives with each other in this mentoring. I'd like to see 25% of everybody who calls Emmanuel Faith Church home in a small group a quarter of our church family. I'd like to see a quarter of every department trained in evangelism. So a quarter of all of our junior hires, all of our high schoolers, all of our college age adults, all of our post-college, all of our adults, all of our children, all trained on how to present the gospel in light of our present realities in our, in our culture today. I'd also like for us to update our technology 
in the year 2012 so that all of our children's buildings all have internet capabilities and, and, and ways to better train our kids. So um, it's going to be a year of development as we uh, deploy some of the new strategies that were developed in 2011. So 2011 will be evaluation, 2012 will be de uh, development, 2013 then really becomes the year of expansion for us, where we'll have 10% of our people in mentoring relationships. I hope to have, that we have 50% of all of our people in the, some form of small group relationship. I sure hope by the year 2013 that we'll be able to start a, a second community center somewhere here in town. Uh, we have one right now called The Bridge. I hope we would start our second so that we can present the gospel to people, minister to their needs, especially in the, in the uh, uh, Hispanic community uh, in which we live. Uh, I'd also like to hire in 2013 a, a, a new church planter for our next church plant, or else we could, could uh, um, send one of our own present pastors out to lead. I'm not sure what the Lord is saying to us, but by 2013, I hope that we're moving down the road to planting our, our next church. So uh, each one of these years is going to build upon the previous, 2011, 2012, 2013. So we have this plan. I wanted to share it with you where we're going. Um, the critical question, what will it take to, uh, for us to get there? Well, it's obviously going to take the, the blessing of the Lord. Uh, we know that apart from him, we can do no good thing. Nothing good happens except that the Lord leads. Uh, we know that we need the direction and power of the Holy Spirit. We don't want to put any confidence in the flesh at all, but want to follow his leading. Most of all, what we need is everybody participating. We need you. For you to, to grow, to develop, to give a wholehearted commitment to being the person that God wants you to be. So there's some on-ramps that you can immediately take to get on board. The first thing, take this mission into your heart. Let it be your, your uh, life principle of bringing honor to God the Father by living like Jesus. Your attitudes, your actions, be all in in your commitment to Him. Uh, the second thing that you can do, the second on-ramp, uh, pray and pray and pray. Our core value says prayer releases God's power for ministry. We know that to be true. So, so there's lots of different prayer commitments you can make, prayer gatherings you can participate in, in your small group to be praying, on your own to be praying. Uh, another on-ramp that you could take is to get into a mentoring relationship right now in our men's ministry, our women's ministries, the various small groups that we have. Uh, become a ministry partner and help train a child or a young person. Lots of different ways to do this. Uh, there are on-ramps that you can take. Get into a small group if you're not involved. It's absolutely critical that we share life together. And then most of all, you can reach out to a neighbor. Well, we don't need any great program to do that. Just love in our hearts. Uh, to live like Jesus lived. To care for others that we come in contact with. That's what this is really all about. Uh, that's what we've tried to do. Uh, I hope this helps a little bit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, but we're really looking forward to how God is going to bring honor to himself as we strive to live like Jesus. So may the Lord bless you and uh, get in contact if I can be of any help.